Hey folks, good morning. This is Micah Thompson again, Chaparral Vortex uh, Jet Boat Owners Group. Just want to make a real quick video, basically demonstrating how to blow your uh, exhaust and intercooler out when you're trying to winterize your boat. We have the winterization guide on our group, but this seems to be the one question I get asked the most about. People seem to get confused how to how to blow that out. So the goal here is to blow all the water, raw water, out of your exhaust system and uh, intercooler, which is the only part of these engines that is cooled by raw water. The West rest is an antifreeze closed loop system. So what you want to do when you're renterizing is use compressed air to blow all that extra water out of there so there's nothing to freeze and cause damage. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now the first thing you want to do typically is start your engine up if you didn't do this at the boat ramp when you were done with your last trip. You want to start the engines up, let them warm up a few seconds, then you want to rev it up several times to about 4500 RPM to blow all the water out of the exhaust system. Uh, that does a better job than injecting air. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to crank it up. I'm going to rev it up a couple times at 4500 and uh, then we're going to blow the rest of it out and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so the next step is to blow compressed air into your flush port and the easiest way to do that is to buy an adapter similar to this off of Amazon. Uh, you can make something like this, in fact the owner's manual for your Rotex engine shows you how to do it, but it's just simpler and I believe cheaper just to buy the parts. You want to get a part like this, this end needs to be a standard hose connection that goes into your flush port in the back and this needs to be a quick connect for your air compressor. Now. I highly recommend you get one that has a valve like this because what I've discovered works best for blowing these out is hitting it with quick burst of air, not just a continuous flow. So by having this valve, you can turn it on and off. That makes it the easiest. So that's get that on Amazon. I believe they call it an RV flush adapter. Uh, I have a link to that in my winterization post. So that's what you need. So where we're going to be putting it is right here on the flush port on the back of your engine. The same place you flush out the engine uh, if you're running a salt water or something. So once again, let me give a wider view. But there's the there's the uh, whole jet drive. And there's where we're going to put it right there. So I'm going to stop the video where I quick while I screw it in there. All right. So let me just show you the setup now that I've got it hooked up. So we have my air adapter right into the flush port there on the back of your engine. I have my compressor line hooked up here. Now you're going to want to use manual says 60 to 100 psi i like to use 100 psi so i use my full pressure here and you're going to need a compressor that has quite a bit of a uh, airflow capability it's really the volume of air that does the work for you so if you have something like just a small compressor for your car something like that it's not going to work you need something with a tank on it that actually has air pressure with with considerable high volume so once it's hooked up like this there's nothing to it but turning on this valve and heat it. Let me back up and you'll see the water come out the bottom. There it is. See it blowing out? So just give it a few seconds and I like to turn it off. So you still got water dripping out. Pulling out the bottom. A lot of it blew out the back. So like I said, hit it several times with pressure. If you just leave it on, eventually the water keeps coming out, but it seems to be that hit of pressure that gets it the best. So I'll turn it on again. Let me do it right here. Some more coming out the back, coming out the bottom. Just go four or five seconds each time. And uh, that's it. So let me show you the valve. Just turn on the valve. Again. That's it. You can see it blowing vapors out of the exhaust. 
keep doing that until you get no more water coming out and you've winterized your engine there's no water in there to uh to freeze uh i see some people uh, say they like to pull antifreeze in there the manual doesn't mention that it's not necessary if you do this keep doing that if you don't get any more water out uh, there's no water in the system to freeze uh, air is better than antifreeze so that's all there is to it once again you can get this adapter on amazon or make your own uh, i have a 30 gallon uh, high volume air compressor i use here 100 psi so just keep doing that to get no more water that's all there is to it good luck guys any questions let me know uh, that's a winterized engine